Hi, I'm Alan Bresnik from Live Reading. We're here in New Orleans at SCT Cable Tech Expo. I'm speaking to Bob Ferreira from Intel. Hi, Bob. Hi, Alan. How you doing? All right. So, Bob, you're one of the founders of the 10G movement in the cable issue. What makes 10G so important to cable? Yeah, I'm really excited about 10G. Um, there's a lot of promise. It's really going to be a, a tool uh, that's going to be necessary for this industry to continue its uh, strong leadership in broadband. Uh, you know, what it really equates to is uh, bringing a speedier, uh, higher capacity, lower latency network uh, to the ultra-connected homes and experiences of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, when we look at, you know, what, it's, uh, what it does for you, right, it uh, brings 10 gigabits of capacity, uh, supports multi-gigabit symmetric speeds, right. and uh, uh, will come along with enhanced security and reliability to protect the network and consumers. So you were up on stage at the general session this morning with Comcast's Tony Werner talking about 10G. What kind of work is Intel doing with Comcast upon 10G? Yeah, we forged a, a very exciting partnership that we uh, announced nine months ago, mm -hmm. and uh, we're now kind of in, into that in partnership in full steam. Uh, you know, what's really exciting about our partnership with Comcast and 10G uh, is we're working kind of cloud to ground uh, on all the different elements that it takes to realize uh, the vision of this network. So, uh, starting all the way in the cloud, looking at uh, virtualizing and uh, things on that front, moving to the hubs themselves and how we reinvent the hubs, uh, into the nodes and remote files, all the way down to the CPE. So, it's a uh, it's for the first time I think we're able to look at it and say, and how do we optimize across the whole network as opposed to just looking at individual pieces? And it's really uh, an incredible opportunity to work with uh, a thought leadership company like Comcast and, and kind of have that slate to innovate on. What are the areas of specific technology progress on the road to 10G? Yeah, when you look at uh, key enabling technologies, there's probably three areas that uh, I'd mentioned that uh, needed to be kind of innovated on to, to really uh, set the stage to be able to realize this vision. The first would be in, uh, you know, broadband echo cancellation. Um, the second would be fast RBA switching is, is a key technology. And then uh, dynamic interference group sounding so that you don't interrupt traffic. Uh, we've been working on these things for the last couple of years uh, with ourselves and other players in the ecosystem. Uh, we have uh, all this stuff operating in the lab and you know we're really confident that the technology is sound and robust uh, and going to be ready for prime time when uh, the market's ready to deploy. What are some of the biggest challenges the industry faces with 10G? I think uh, some of the concerns are moving more towards, uh, you know, can we realize the footprint to really uh, uh, deploy this at scale? Do people really need a 10G network? And what are some of the experiences that will actually bring it to life? Yeah, and when I think about this, Alan, um, you know, you can look at things like immersive experiences are happening, all kinds of immersive, immersive experience technologies are, are coming about. It really will put pressure on the downstream bandwidth and, uh, and constrain latencies uh, quite a bit. Uh, there's an opportunity for this uh, industry to play in the mobile uh, backhaul and mobile front haul industry, uh, leveraging the, uh, the, you know, the fact that HFC plant is, is widely deployed everywhere. Uh, that puts, uh, again, another big uh, bandwidth demand on the downstream network. Uh, you know, we heard uh, Tony Warner this morning talk about uh, the promise of volumetric display technology requiring upwards of 800 megabits per second, gigabit right. uh, per second. And just in general, the competitive landscape uh, you know, the, uh, you have things like uh, 10G PON coming about and uh, 5G, fixed wireless networks coming about. And to, to help the cable industry prepare to be at the leadership for the next 10 years and beyond, uh, this 10G is a, is a required tool in the toolbox. Bob, thanks for your time. Thank you.